Uh, not here, Dad. You are not visible. Well, I can see you. Okay, now now it's all right. Okay, so Bacha, Akram, Nasim, so many names you have. So what to call you? <laughs> uh, I'm Nasim Akram. You can call me Akram. All right. So tell me, how have you been, Akram? Uh, I have been good and I have been watching your videos on YouTube. <laughs> How is it? I mean, uh, that was great actually. I like the video and I watched the video uh, till end. Like uh, that was so informative actually. Uh, you were talking regarding how someone can get English party and how someone can practice English without paying money like that. I watched that. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Akram, today's topic is all about teenage. So you want to talk related to this or something else? Uh, well, I don't have idea about this topic, but I will get some idea. So uh, uh, I would like to go with go with this topic actually. But I have zero knowledge about this topic. Teenage. Because I don't even. Did the PDF? Mm -hmm. He did actually. He did, but I forgot. Yeah, most of the time it happens actually. Like I forgot to look at the PDF. <laughs> okay, no problem. Well, uh, the topic is all about teenage. What comes in your mind when you hear the word teenage? Uh, I think whenever I hear this word, it comes that it's a kind of uh, age duration between uh, uh, between uh, between approximately twelve to twenty years, like that, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, how was your teenage days? Uh, like I have recently crossed my teenage age just uh, just few months back. Mm -hmm. So I think that we have a lot of energy during the teen teenage is I guess like yes. uh, we have positive thinking. We think that we can do everything. Like we can crack anything. We can do anything. We can. Even we can become the prime minister if we want. Like yes. we have, yeah, we have different kind of energy during teenage. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I believe that I would really be lucky if I have same kind of motivation like I had during the time of my teenager or is. Mm -hmm. uh, if I would have same kind of energy and same kind of motivation, I feel that I can really achieve whatever I want. Actually, I mean the feeling is really extraordinary. It, it's really amazing. Yeah, in teenage days, people do wrong things also, as well as people do good things also. Teenage, like it's a very kind of sensitive age. Like ups and downs happen in this age. Yeah, like uh, and all things. You take some step. That's when we take in at the teenager is because I think these are the precious duration of our life. And if we commit some mistake during these years, we might have to suffer later in the future, actually. So mm -hmm. it, it, it does happen that willingly or unwillingly, we commit some mistake during this age. Yeah. And, you know, teenage uh, age is known as a period of teenage is known as that it's the most sensitive age. Do you really think so? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I think so because most of the transformation in our body uh, takes place during this age actually. Like uh, mentally, physically, whatever changes takes place, most of the changes takes place during this age. So yeah, I, I think so actually. Yes, and also people do wrong things also. People like start consuming alcohol, start smoking cigarettes and like that. They Some people harm themselves too regarding relationships and all <laughs> in this age. Yeah, like uh, we have different kind of mentality during this age. We think that it's a kind of style by consuming, you know, by consuming alcohol and by having cigarettes and drink. We think that it's a part of style actually. And uh, willingly or unwillingly, uh, we take some step that it, that shouldn't be taken actually. But uh, because uh, we don't have control over our mind during this age, so we, we take this step like uh, consuming alcohol, cigarette, and all these sort of things because we think that it's a kind of style. But th this isn't like that. It it actually harms our body. Yeah, and especially they take pictures like that. They hold the cigarette in their fingers 
and they just take a picture post it on social media they think it's very cool you know it's not cool actually yeah i mean like uh, during my teenage age even i was thinking that uh, 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 i should have this secret and all this sort of thing but again i thought no this is not actually the life i mean once if i start doing this i might get addicted to this and even if i want to uh, get rid of this it might not be possible to get rid out of all this sort of thing yes, so exactly. till now till now i haven't ever consumed this kind of things but i don't know what next going to happen in the future yeah in school especially in college days your friends force you try try nothing would happen try you would feel good a different kind of feeling you would yeah. get your friends influence you and there's a reason you think that let's try then after that after trying one you feel eventually it would increase 2 3 4 the numbers increase and eventually yeah. you get addicted like i i also had some friend who were motivating me to have secrets and their motivation was quite different they were saying that the person who is intelligent in doing study and if you want to uh, uh, train up your mind then you must consume secret because all the topper do like this i mean they consume yes, secret yes, they say like that talking. so i was thinking yeah it might be possible even i should start doing this but again i thought no it it, it might not it might not be possible actually but these kind of arguments i have got by a lot of my friends actually like this kind of rage and why should i consume secret so they gave me this kind of explanation yes and some people cigarette is still good but some people some friends are dangerous they influence you to take drugs <laughs> yeah a different kind of feeling heavenly feeling you would get that jannat wala feeling you would get after yeah. consuming uh, you would feel so good energetic like that the uh, like manipulation is so much that here i am saying now to you maybe you would be feeling uh, funny but at that moment you would feel that let's try yeah okay well i got a question to ask you actually like uh, i know that being a boy i know that you know being the center part of crowd and group so it happens sometimes that we are being motivated to consume cigarette but how do you have idea about this because i haven't ever seen a girl while consuming cigarette so i don't think that any any of your friend have motivated you to do like this so, I mean, yes a lot of times my friends have motivated me like consume cigarette low i was i did my schooling in a uh, girl school but after that two years i was in queer school then my especially my girl my friends like my friends who were girls they told me that uh, arpita consume that cigarette and all they used to smoke so it's very good like that they used to force me and sometimes it's what well, it was like very differently like now the way i am saying to you it's not like that they used to say it in a very different way it used to feel that very much interesting so i didn't try cigarette with them but with my sister i tried once how it tasted but it was so suffocating it was feeling then that is the last first and the last one then after that my friends told me to try hookah too i tried it then again it was okay okay not that much but i quit i just tried for fun to see what is special in it oh my god this is the first time when i came to know that even girl consume cigarette i mean in reality I haven't ever ever seen a girl while consume cigarette. Uh, it might be possible they might be doing in the room actually, but never ever in my life. I mean, I have seen in movies, not in real life actually. But first time listening it from you. No, no, in city it is very common. In Mumbai, Delhi, in Kolkata, it is very common. Whenever you go in the streets, you would be seeing that girls are consuming cigarettes more than boys. Oh really? But uh, like I, I was residing in Mumbai for a few months. Like, uh, but I haven't ever observed that moment where I saw a girl while maybe consuming. Maybe that cigarettes. street you were staying. That street maybe they were they those type of girls were not there. But in Kolkata, I have seen a lot. Maybe the place where I stay in Kolkata, in South Kolkata, I have seen a lot of times, especially beside malls and all like that. Oh my God. and there are a lot of cafes you know there are all all of the cafes have they uh, there is hookah then there is alcohol and like that it's very common here well it's 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 it's, it's, it's really a kind of knowledge i'm getting actually <laughs> yeah especially my friends you know i want to say something that my uh, the second school which i used to study there the 
all of the students like 99 percent of them they say that do they smoke tobacco they do tobacco and weed and all like everyone is saying almost like the hot topic was like that only you smoke cigarette you consume alcohol everyone is speaking about all these things and i was the only one who was like no i never tried then at last i tried then but i didn't like it i tried for the first time it's the last time then i said no i didn't like it. so they were like arpita you didn't like it's true you're so unmodern you're not modern you're like that they said but i ignored actually once when i was residing when i was residing in hostel like one of my roommate he was uh, having cigarettes okay and smoke was suffocating me like I, i was being suffocated by the smoke okay so i made a complaint to the owner of hostel but he did nothing but so willingly or unwillingly i had to recite with uh, a kind of environment that i never wanted where i had to smell cigarette every day every day because you know uh, i have a kind of allergy from smoke and all these sort of things like yeah. even in my home uh, when my mom cooks the uh, food on you know what is that uh, i don't have what to say but when it produces carbon dioxide uh, i get a kind of allergy so uh, well till now i haven't ever tried smoking and all this sort of thing. yeah and even later in the future i will not try but well i i cannot guarantee the things that what's going to happen next in the future you never tried in your life uh, i i never did actually i never tried i mean just for fun i said to my friend once in my life i will try cigarette but i don't know whether i will do or not but till now i haven't ever done that yes i me mean also just for fun just for curiosity you know people were telling me people were literally forcing me to try try so i was like what's so special in it let's try so it happens when some, everyone is a forcing you that curiosity happens in your mind then after that it was like normal it's nothing special then uh, i don't do now it's what was for first time and it's the last because i know even it is good though i won't continue because it's not good for health yeah and like a lot of time i got cigarette in my hands like uh, uh you know like by my friends and by a lot of people they gave me cigarettes in my hand so like uh, I, i i took i took from them but i never tried actually i just gave that cigarette to someone else uh, like you know in my surrounding i gave cigarette to them but personally i never tried actually and you know, uh, uh, that's the reason when i am in my friend zone okay and when they are consuming cigarettes or anything else and uh, like they ask me that would you like to have cigarettes i take from them but i don't consume that actually i don't consume that yeah <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the smell of the cigarette I like, but sometimes when it's too close, someone is smoking too close from to me, then I feel suffocated. If if it's far, then it's like I like it, the smell, and I like the smell of petrol too. <laughs> yeah, a uh, petrol. Yeah, it, it it feels good while smelling, but even it's a kind of uh, you know alcoholic thing. Like yeah, uh, yeah I mean, it's still being a sahoo sakta hai probably, most probably. Yeah, I don't like the smell of kerosene. I like the smell of petrol, and I like I like the smell of Fabicol Dendrite. Yeah, like uh, uh, I don't know, you might be knowing about this or not, but a lot of people who are addicted to alcohol, they also consume a uh, Fabicol. Actually, uh, not exactly consume, but they smell Fabicol day and night. Yeah, just to satisfy. Yeah. they like it and also you know my sister elder sister likes it a lot petrol then whenever my father our father used to drop us in school also so uh, they were like uh, my whenever my father used to return from school uh, he used to stop near the petrol pump like that petrol the, they used to give the petrol in the bike and my sister used to say that give me one drop in my hand then <laughs> the petrol then they used to give the petrol and she used to smell it all the way <laughs> yeah like uh, you know like more than 95% of content in the petrol there uh, that is actually alcohol actually so that's why it feels good while smelling and at the same time you might have observed one thing that when you smell homeopathic medicine it also feels good again yeah homeopathic medicine yeah i never tried it i don't know actually i asked my mother so even my friends also told me it's very tasty tasty but i never tried yeah because it it also contain alcohol that's why it feels so good while smelling 
Yeah, I saw one meme on Facebook. It was written, tasty. Then it comes to the tasty homeopathic tablet. <laughs> yeah. It feels good. Like uh, uh, when I had some skin disease uh, during my teenage, uh, then I was consuming homeopathic medicine every day. Uh, like I, I continued consuming this medicine for almost two years. Yeah. So I got a kind of addiction to this medicine. Like I, I felt good while consuming it. Like uh, you see, according to according to the routine, uh, I just have to like I just have to oh, consume my medicine within a five days. But I used to consume it within a three days. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So how is the taste like? Is it sweet? Uh, uh, yeah, like it's uh, it's it's sweet, but uh, like it's it is mixed up with the alcohol, like the sweet with the alcohol. So it 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 really tastes different than alcohol because it's it's a mixture of different things. Okay, I'm feeling very much curious. Actually, you don't know why. Whenever people say is that I become very much curious to try new things. <laughs> One day I would try this too. Yeah. Okay, all right. So coming to the next question, what kind of mischievous things you have done in those times? I want to listen. Uh, yeah, well, I have done a lot of things that I want to correct it if I have a time machine. Like first, uh, when I had a fight with one of my friends, I told him that if you cross by my home, I will beat you. I will beat you. And he was one of my Yeah, he was one of my. Hello. Hello, Akram. Hello. 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 Hello, Masim. What happened? Hello, can you see me? Hear me? Hello. Yeah, you became pause at that time actually. <laughs> okay, all right. You say one of your friends don't come in my home. You were saying something. Yeah, uh, I was saying that once I had a fight with one of my friends during teenage. Okay, mm -hmm. so I just warned him that if you cross by my home, like just by the road next to my next to my home, then uh, I will beat you actually. <laughs> yeah because he had some work so he had to cross through that road he had to go through that road so when i saw him while while crossing my home i just stopped him and i started beating him like i mean that was the biggest mistake of my life okay and mm -hmm. after that once when i was with one of my cousin okay mm -hmm. so he was having tobacco you know tobacco yeah, tobacco. Yeah, I know. So, uh, I was a kind of childish boy. I had no idea that what he is consuming. I thought tabaco that he might... it like that. You do it. No, 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 not exactly. Like sick her and like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I had no idea that it might be dangerous to health and it's not good actually because he was consuming. So I was little, lalchi that if if he will give me, I would also like to eat that. You so were if he, yeah, uh, like I was little, little greedy actually. That if he give me, I will eat. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't ask him. I didn't ask him for that, but even he gave me without asking. So I consumed. But later on, I came to know that ki, oh my god, it it has no taste, because I was addicted to consuming uh, chocolates, uh, biscuits, and you know like mixture. But I wasn't addicted to this kind of things. So I thought, what is this actually? I, it, it had no taste, nothing, but still I had to consume it. Like even without tasting it, I just put it in the mouth and again I throw it 
out of my mouth because mm-hmm. it was feeling awkward so the two mistakes i have done in my life actually so little mistake <laughs> people usually does so many kind of mistake in their teenage days <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Say, yeah. Uh, I, i i also remember one of my incident like uh, once like my father consume uh, a tobacco you know like uh, putting like doing like this okay so yes. he has he has little box so one day what i did i i thought he, my father is consuming it every day why don't i even try it I, i thought because my father is consuming so it won't be bad actually so let me consume it so i just took it i just took his box and i just went to my room and i started doing this and like uh, after i mixed up you know like uh, calcium oxide with the tobacco and i put it in my mouth like it started bleeding oh yeah. gee yeah and then i just like that was first and last time after that i never try it again oh, oh after yeah. then what happened you were started bleeding from nose no not from nose like from my lips actually because it, it had calcium oxide now so yeah, it burned uh, yeah so I, i got some wound on my lips actually oh gee yeah okay <laughs> well um then next question do you miss your teenage days uh yeah i i miss my teenies because uh, during that time i was in 10th standard and 9th standard and i had a good fan circle so i miss them a lot and uh, i was thinking that that was a different time i don't think that i can ever have those 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 time actually uh, like you know true friends they aren't selfies they are with you with just only for you but now the friend i got now the friend we got us uh, they are good but they aren't they are not with you uh for you actually they are with you only for their benefit exactly yeah, so I, i i i i really miss them a lot actually like the teenies the teenies that was the best period of my life yeah nowadays finding a friend who is friend in need is a friend in need is very much difficult you know people are like that nowadays like for like means if you like my photo i will like it yeah exactly <laughs> yeah follow yeah now you know now friendship has become like if you are my friend you have to like my post every day you have to comment on my post every day okay like that but that that isn't the friendship actually friendship means uh meeting each other telling about the problem i have you tell me your problem we will try to look out for the solution the best possible solution that is the real meaning of solution like when i am in need of help you should help me when you are in need of help i should help you mm-hmm. exactly nowadays yeah. people are like that you know they have more friend circle they talk to everyone they only have you subscribe them they only have huge followers they only have their huge kind yeah. of like and if they're not people are not liking the content people are liking if i know that person then only i would follow otherwise no okay uh, so okay uh, how did you get the idea of creating youtube channel like uh, you might have got inspiration from someone or like it was your own idea well my uh, friends my most of the people with whom i talk to like are photo lakhan most of them have told me that why don't you create your own youtube channel arpita then it would be more good then i was like uh, how would i able to create it's a huge uh, like i have to invest a lot of time so i was thinking like that so i was thinking that let's my students also were telling arpita ma'am create a youtube channel and like that whatever you tell us in class like make videos like that so it's like no any particular person didn't uh, motivate me everyone were telling me my students my friends my other friends which i have in youtubers whoever are so i like that i thought why not create a youtube channel so like that it happened okay and did you get admission in graduation like first time when i was talking to you you said that ki yes. you are applying for some universities so did you get admission yeah my name is there on the merit list now admission would be i just click on the website then they say that it would be open admission would be open after 2 to 3 days then i would be getting uh, so where did you get admission did you apply for a gnu or du or just at calcutta in- university Oh, at Calcutta University. That's great. History honors. Oh, history honors. So, what next are you going? In, are you going to do in your life? I guess some. 
uh, state civil, central civil like that. Now, after history honors, I would study MA. Then maybe I would do PhD like that. I want to do higher studies. Then a side by side, I would be teaching English because English is I is my passion that I like to. It's my passion. I don't want to take this as my profession. Actually, so like that. Wow, that's great. Yeah. What about you? Uh, about myself, well. uh in like uh, i don't think that i can be a teacher of english because it's too hard to explain the concept and at the same time it's easy for me to be a teacher of mathematics so if i get a chance to be a teacher of mathematics i wouldn't be away from that because i have good command over mathematics subject but talking about english i can speak it and i have even i have studied the grammar uh deeply during my school days like uh, i have studied most of the chapters but it's been a long time so i forgot everything so even if i get a chance to teach grammar i would say like you know i i, I would just say pranam and i would just like to be <laughs> nice so right now uh, are in college you are in college like uh, right i'm studying mathematics Uh, yeah, I got admission in a college and doing BSc from mathematics. Okay, that's very good. Nice. Well, uh, Nasim, is there anything that you didn't understand in the vocabulary section? Uh, like I told you that I didn't look up at the vocabulary section today. Uh, if I could look there, I would definitely have been happy to ask you again. Okay, all right. Well, uh, coming to the mistakes, Akram, that I noticed two mistakes that you keep on repeating. Like sometimes you are saying one of my friends, sometimes you are saying one of my friend. Sometimes <laughs> it is happening. I noticed. And also the second thing, for two times you said people. Though you know people is the right thing, but still unconsciously you are saying people. Sometimes people. Yeah, like. the mistake you are going to correct now like a lot of tutors before you have corrected the same mistake like uh, like uh, here i'm taking the crowd actually like when i'm saying one of my friends so like uh, here i'm i'm say i'm taking a lot of friends and they are one of them actually yes. and uh, after that people it shouldn't be people's actually because people is already put can happen yeah yeah Mm-hmm. so like uh, like yeah, once i was talking already about this thing that's the thing i noticed because at some point of time you were saying one of my friends some point of time you were saying one of my friend yeah so like yeah like when i was having conversation on cambly i did the same mistake and they corrected me actually like you you corrected two mistakes even they did same <laughs> Okay, no problem. You can work on that because you already know and you are already aware of that. Because I I understood that sometimes you are correcting by yourself, so you can work on that. And it otherwise you speak good. I didn't find any mistake. Good, Akram. Nice, Bacha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, is there anything else you want to ask me? Then you can ask. Okay. Uh, I can ask you one question. Do you want to be a big YouTuber with a million sub subscriber? <laughs> well, uh, I would be happy if my channel gets monetized. That's all for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, as per I think that your channel might get monetized within a, a three or four months because you're really doing great over there. Wow! Thank you so much. <laughs> if you keep sharing my videos more and more, then maybe it can happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I will definitely do that. I will definitely do that. I will also put your link in my comment section. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. uh, have a nice day. Hmm? Have a nice day. Like. Thank uh, you. Bye bye. Yeah.